I'm just gonna talk to myself. So you can just walk around. You still have the axe somehow. Nope, we're not going up there. Pretty much the axe is uh um Lee's main weapon. Mm, pointy. <laughs> Saw. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. What a coincidence! There's boards right there! Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, we were go just, right ahead. We were just talking about it five seconds ago. Also, we're cutting boards again, just like we did in the first season. We just put that in our pocket. It's a pocket board. I think he's gonna say just ooh pointy. Mm, pointy. Yep, there you go. We have to go up, we have to go up there for the uh the rope though. I forget who you have to talk to to leave the area. I think it's either Mark or the Saint John. I forget which one of his his name. So if you knock on the door we'll talk to the mom. I think the rope is in here. Yep, there's the rope. Let's get that rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. Right in the pocket, right with the wood. Let's talk to let's talk to Mrs. Uh, this dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? It surely did. This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. Yeah. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. What happened to the father? Hmm. Alright, bye then. I'm gonna talk to your mom. She was just hiding right oh, the door. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. This place the looks amazing. done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the staff? What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those fangs showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How many in this house is a weird question to ask this lady. Well, when will dinner, when will be, dinner ready? be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Hmm. How's your, your family, family holding? been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll if anything later. comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right, let's build that fence. Or should I say that swing? All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. That was imme immediately. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my. To push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. There's the swing. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Yep. 
We'll talk to Mark, and then we'll see if... Uh, then we'll talk to Andy, I guess. I don't think there's much more you can look around. I guess you can look at the fence and stuff. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Oh, I guess we could not talk to him. What did I look at? Oh, it's just that pointy fence. Ah, oh, here we go. What? I can grab it? I don't want to grab it. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys coming along with gas just in time. Hey, hey uh, don't, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. I'm gonna talk to him. Hi. Hi. Hello. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy. You can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Uh, are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Yeah, yeah, we have. We've done that. An Sorry. electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Well, it burns out oh, is that? Well, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? Mark and I fix can that help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark yep. and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Just, you well, know, turn off the fence. Great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. It's good advice. I think if I just touch the fence, it would be like, oh, this is a fence, or something stupid like that. Big place. So how's the place man. looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't yep. wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a piss if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> all right? I try to be civil at least. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. It's funny how animals don't become zombies. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Well, I mean... Come on, let's push it off. It's also got an arrow in its head. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. I mean, he looks like a zombie to begin with. Disgusting. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It I better hope so. be. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. Hopefully not. Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Eh, push him off. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Yeah, probably. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? I kind of doubt it. A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We 
We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I, I, I pressed it. the wrong button. Oh well. Can I look at her? No. The lady's not doing it by hand. Yep. There goes you our hand. Never hands. get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Apparently, I'm going to go take you over this. Can't this stop area. thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. So do I. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If you can only hope. got as much food as they say, I, I think so. I think Come on. Mark would be I think really I see where they're getting in. Eat. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really like the fact that uh, you're going on the other side of that fence there, Mark. A little help here, Lee? Can I look at the fun thing first? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! <laughs> Alright, let's get this fence done. Fixed. There we go. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fence is the electricity on. on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, oh god. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck that one! Only way out! I got you now! Oh no, don't get up! Give us the food! I'll fuck you, strong bitches up! The plates are stuck in the dirt. You got an agreement! I see you! Now you're fucked! You asshole! Come on, grab it, Lee. I already got one of you! Come on out! No? Still not. Behind the track! This is something. Oh. No fuel! Of course. Did you really think himself. you were fucking us? Get down! Yeah, that wasn't it either. Oh, oh, there we go. Where's our food, you asshole? Come on, if we can reach the gate, Where we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, what on earth? It's moving by itself. Can what on earth is going on here? We're just kind of sliding with it. I I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be moving it, but I'm not. I'm just kind of walking with it. It's what happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. It's gonna have to move. No, it isn't. I see you on the track. Lee, hurry up. That is not one of the zombies we pushed before, Lee. Uh, oh, it is? Where do you think you're going? Why is it going by itself? I don't understand. It shouldn't be going by itself. And we got another one. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? And not, neither of these are people we pushed down. You got lucky that time. Oh dear. Give us the food. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. You can really take it. Oh god. Oh, god. You okay? Yeah. Uh, barely. Come on. The gate's right it's there! It's coming after us. You didn't deliver this good! Now we're gonna take what it on the fish! Oh, that was lucky. They're getting away! Let's get out of here! Did you really think you could fuck with us? And they can just go you right to the fence. Of bitches. Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know. It was 
There's a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Andy, yeah, I'm here? fine! On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! <laughs> oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, no. I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these All assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Mm -hmm. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need Pretty to dangerous. do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Yep. I'm gonna yep. head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kid, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. So, because you fixed the fence, I mean, the, uh, not the fence, I keep calling this thing a fence. Uh, since you've fixed the uh, swing, you can hey, talk Clint, to Karen, uh, like Carl, uh, Clint yeah, and Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. And you can Will push you on push the swing. On it? Absolutely. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Go. Now we have a little fun. What do you think of the dairy? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, yep, it does. yep, that's true. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yes. Yeah. Always keep her optimistic. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, yeah I think we too. all do. How you doing? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Uh, I guess we can just reassure that we're safe. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? Oh. Don't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Uh, we can talk to Kenny, I think. <laughs> What's weird tracking we got? I'm not controlling it. What on earth are you doing, Lee? Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? 
I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Mm. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. Yeah, yeah. How are you holding up, Kenny? How are you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. I thought I was gonna pass out. I mean, you ate. food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Eh, yeah, how to say exit? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. It's true. Let's see what it's I can find very true. Out. You guys stay here, be safe and all that. Uh, talk to them. Eh, let's look around a little bit. There's the gas can and the other thing. These pillows. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Yeah, that's true. They're storing gasoline. Oh, gasoline all over cans. The okay. And they have a lot of gas cans, huh? That thing keeps the fence electrified. No. Can I go in here already? I can. Wasn't expecting that. Hey, look, it's hay. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. That's true. I don't want to go in here yet, do I? Hey, we can do it. If we can do it, we're gonna if go in there. There's not enough room in the house for all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh, I guess that's all we wanted to do yet here. Let's touch the fence and I'll get electrocuted. Oh, let's go up to... Oh, there's uh, Larry. Larry and Lily. Let's talk to them. Get some insight into what they're thinking about everything. Oh, there's nothing else over here to look at. More hay, I think. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what I was going to think about. There's Lily and Larry. I can't talk to Larry, but I can talk to Lily. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hmm. I don't like any of these ones. I don't know. I don't really like any of these questions. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, that's true. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I don't want to make these guys any more angry than they already are. I'm sure they'll be even more angry at the end of this episode. Alright, time to go see the St. John's then. I've pretty much seen all I can see out here. I've talked to Clem, I've talked to Duck, I've talked to... Pretty much... <sighs> all of them. Fellas? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. And you turned no the fence on on me. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yep. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, yeah, do we're that. just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Hmm. Who 
Are you going now? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. Family's a big part here. of these games. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Yeah, we did. I mean, we shouldn't be going towards the camp. I mean, didn't we say we were just going to recon it? Never mind. Let's just go. Also, I got a sniper rifle now. I guess it looks like a, kind of like a golden eye one. Save a lots. Sneak up on the camp. You see anybody? Stay on guard. Stay on your guard. Watch also, they ate everything and just left. I'm gonna check out the tent. Yeah, that's probably for the best. There's something in there. This camp's something that we might like. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Yeah. Let's see what this, uh... Yeah, a pot. Just water. It looks like it was boiling. A gas can? Nothing but fuels. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Yep, there's the dairy. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. like they were moving a lot of stuff. All right, that's one side. Let's look over this side. Looks like they expected to be here a while. That little chair gave you that impression? Any bullets? Empty. Nope. Nothing. Hmm, let's lay like one of those little like, cameras. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can hmm. find anything useful and then get a move That's on. Sir. Well, you a hunter? Keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. A little suspicious of Lily. I see something that we might want. There's a teddy bear. Oh, oh man. Grab it. 
This was a child's thing. Yep. Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this? Mm, the blood kind of suggests that it like. wasn't. Yep, yep, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, what's this over here? The hell? Don't you fucking move! Shit! What the? Put your guns down. I hey, ain't going lady, back. Did you steal this you hat? Tell him Jolene ain't going dog? back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, oh, I know great. you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the yeah, fuck out of my camp. Much... She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn know. brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take uh -oh. what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? Hey. You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right ah. through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna <laughs> head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot you. How many- how may I assist you today? God damn it! Thanks, I guess. Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. There's a bit of a suspicious there. <sighs> little bit, little bit. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, not really, we head no. back. Once they Especially see zombies this, everywhere. they'll get the message. Well, I mean, we've just made a loud bang, and uh, that usually attracts monsters. Also, there's a crossbow. Come on. The St. John's. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? Kiss him every day. Yeah. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm oh, down, princess. Again. I'll do it myself. Well, excuse me, What's going princess. On with this? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Yeah, we all nice. did a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. Ugh. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. <laughs> they gotta go have a look around. <laughs> don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. 
And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. What are you making for dinner? <laughs> yep, I got her hat. She's gonna be so happy when I get that back to her. <laughs> 